Hello and welcome back, humble viewers, to the 2022 BCS Atlas Cup. We're coming right back at you with day two of the very exciting cup. We've got two familiar faces. We've seen these two teams already, Polar and Swamp, both coming out with a dub yesterday against Tropics. Very exciting to see how these two teams stack up. Both with a uh, rather convincing victory against Tropic. However, this will give us a, a good showing of just how much Polar can stack up. They looked like the strongest team yesterday. And they were very dominant, bringing in both of their subs yesterday in Airflow and Italics. Giving up a couple of goals as a result, but... If they had not, it could have easily ended as a 10 to 1 score. It's been a very long time since the team has scored 10 total goals. But Polar, they are definitely capable of doing it with the powerhouse, Vonsky and Ubik's offensive duo. And Monaco and Razor, nothing to sneeze at as well. They can definitely make their shots if they get open. But also Swamp, Kingston, Ucrease, and Sono Kido. Very dangerous on the offensive end. We got to see uh, T Bone, he's going to have his work cut out for him today in the goal. 
Bonsky and Ubix, they're not going to make it easy for him at all. He's definitely going to need Waldo, big man Baldo, the defensive juggernaut, to step up. And just the same with Muna. It's going to be a high-flying game. I think we're going to see a lot of balls flying around the pitch. Currently, it looks like Swamp will be having the tip, and we are just about ready. Lining up, looks like Ucrease and Sono going to take the tip. Kingston starting from that mid position. Muna dropping the dog barks in chat. Obviously very hyped up. Oh, and uh, what just happened, actually? That that was definitely uh that was definitely not planned. And we have a this is a dangerous style of goalie play where you bring the ball up yourself. If you manage to get stolen in that situation, just like Sono just got stolen here. If you manage to get stolen while you're out of net, it's just a simple long shot into the goal. Polar with their first offensive possession. Oh, almost got it into Vonsky almost immediately. You got to cover those passing lanes with Vonsky. If he doesn't have the ball, you can bet that Polar is going to try and get the ball to him. Oh, and this is the dangerous part. You have to get the ball away from Vonsky, especially when he's on defense. Very easy for him to get steals. Sono trying to dribble up court, and this is what I'm saying. It's so hard for players to get past Vonsky and to stop Vonsky. He's definitely a quintessential two-way player. Sono really been dribbling it. Dribbling it by himself, but he hasn't been pressured too hard. Wabonski easily... Oh, no! Okay, it almost looked like a unfortunate blunder from Polar was going to lead to a shot opportunity. And another blunder! Letting Kingston get the ball. We've got to scramble. Razor getting it back up to Ubix. Not really too much offense we've seen yet. There was a very close pass in by Ubix, but still currently both teams trying to get their offensive game plan started. Powerful, strong defense from Swamp. Swamp, their game plan is probably going to revolve around just what we're seeing right here, the offensive fast breaks. They need to get that ball and immediately start pounding it up the field. The more time you give for Polar to set up, just it exponentially harder. Crazy shot by Ucrease, and that goes in! Oh my goodness, and that's it. That's exactly the plan. You can't take too much time on your offensive sets. One For, for one, you are taking time off the clock, and that's less opportunity for the other team, sure, but also less opportunity for you uh, to get even more goals. So that's a great plan by Swamp right now, just being absolutely aggressive. Ubix, again, looking for the opportunity, but the Swamp defense is stifling. Good pass back from Waldo to No Roblo. And we, it looks like No Roblo, uh, very happy to sit and hold the ball. Honestly, if you're down, you really should not be Trying to just steal straight up from the goalie. Corner kick in the Sono. Misses it. Looking back to Yui. And Kingston is wide open. And Munoz definitely notices that. But Vonsky. Just too strong. Too much gravity on him. This is very dangerous. You got to you gotta put a lot of pressure. And it looks like Swamp is definitely doubling whenever they can against Vonsky. You really don't want to ever give him just a one-on-one -on -one situation because he will easily take 
advantage of that. Here we go, classic swamp offense. Just fast passes, big passes. If they if they get those passes, then it, it will really turn out well for them. But also, this is dangerous here. It could be a three-on-two situation, but Ubix is taking a little bit too much time. And that just gave them too much time. And by the time uh, Monaco and Bonsky were up in the box, they were so close to the goal that No Robo had no problem just snatching that pass right out of the air. Seems like Ubix is really favoring the going into the left big box and then just doing a big jump pass. And it may be hard to pick up the first few times, but Swamp is definitely going to learn from that. Big pass into Ubix, but big man Baldo with the big clear. You just cannot get past the man. He is the iron defender. The big fundamental. Ucrease on the fast break, but it's a four-on-one situation. Ooh, good work from Polar backing up their own defenders. That could have been a very bad situation. Big pass in. Waldo should have this. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Ubix definitely not meaning to get that hair. Just easily fed the ball to No Roblo. And Swamp, they're just going for these big passes. But Polar, they're they're kind of learning too. I think both these offenses could could uh, be good if they changed up their game plan a little bit. Bonsky, uh, I think he's making his case to the refs there. I don't think they're really uh, being swayed that easily. Once again, T-Bone, he's very good at getting those stolen balls uh, when they're very close to the net. That's a, a very powerful part of goalie that people don't really respect enough is that they can just grab it and completely stop the play. Oh my goodness, what a shot! I did not even expect Sona to go for that shot. That was a far away, but perfectly hit the corner. It, is Swamp trying to take their place as the number one team currently? T-Bone once again looking for another ring. Big Kingston. And Swamp has shown a lot of poise in getting the ball back up the field. They, When they get possession, they, all, they very consistently get the ball up into the big box. That's a corner kick. Good uh, defense from Polar bringing it back, but that was very dangerous, and I would be, if I were Polar right now, I would be sweating. It's very surprising. You haven't seen very much offensive uh, prowess going on right here. Oh, my goodness. That, now, that was just a heat check. Purely a heat check from Sono, and it wasn't quite aimed at the corner at all, so Muna, no issue taking that one. I gotta say, it looks like Swamp is a very strong two-way team. You, you think usually T-Bone's teams are very uh, defensive-minded. But this trio of Ucrease, Kingston, and Sono, they're just super hyper-aggressive. They don't make very many mistakes on defense. They're just closing up all the angles for Vonsky. He isn't really getting a chance to do his fancy dribble moves. And honestly, I, I need to see more passing from Polar. You know, they were really doing amazing against Tropic because they were passing well and often. Oh, called out. Called out from Tumble. It looked like that ball was just barely out. Fonsky trying to catch it before it goes out of bounds, but just barely out. And T-Bone is really taking his time on these goal kicks. 
Big up to Ubix. One-on-one situation. Can Waldo control him? Oh no, and he can Waldo makes his first mistake. And that's a goal up to Polar. Honestly, I'm very surprised that's how the first goal ended up going for Polar. They had a very pass-heavy offense, and, and there they just let Ubix go to work one-on-one. -on -one. If I were Swamp, I would not let that situation happen again, and it looks like it's going to. Well, Waldo, he stops him this time. Scramble here, but Kingston comes out with it. Still very dangerous, though. That, that situation where you think you have the possession, but it's so hard to get it out. And retain possession. Oh. Big, big block. I think that went off of Sono's head. And Timo managed to snatch it out of the air. Ubix calling the stall. But, I, I mean. I don't know. Timo, I think he has no uh, draw distance. So, he can't really see up far to the other side of the field so I mean that's kind of a detriment to not be able to get those big passes out from the goal kick opportunity but well they seem to be doing okay so far Kingston trying to get away from Vonsky Vonsky knocking it around with his ninja headdress Sono barely keeping it inbounds Ukrees with the big cut to the middle of the box. Oh, that was actually almost perfect. Just a little bit too high on Sona's pass. That would have made that would have gotten Yui completely wide open. Uh oh. Big opportunity from Bonsky. You just you just can't let them get these opportunities. You gotta shut them down. That's a GK. Oh, and Vonsky, Vonsky fell down off of the map. There, there is only collision just barely outside of uh, the outline. So, so Vonsky just taking a dip into the void real quick. Ukrees, I'd be looking for Sono here. Honestly, Kingston should be uh, opening up a little wider going to the far right side. Maybe giving a little more space for Yui to, to pass out. Big ups to Ubix once again. Can he make the one-on-one -on -one opportunity? No, he gets stopped by Waldo. A very exciting game so far. A lot of offensive opportunities. Oh, thought that Thought that Ubix stepped out a little bit, but I don't think he did. Oh, it's so dangerous. It's just, I'm, I'm always clenching whenever I see the goalie that far out. And Swamp, maybe they're getting a little bit, a little bit sweaty, a little bit nervous. He's trying to force up some look pretty uh, long shot passes. Oh, this is bad. Kingston, though, stopping Ubix in his tracks, giving the Swamp defense time to get back in. Oh, come on. Okay, Waldo's got it, but he doesn't retain possession. Still Polar's possession. Still scrambling, but Sono's got it up. Stolen by Vonsky, but Sono's got a little bit of a body block on him. Uh, he keeps doing these jumps. He keeps doing these jumps, and when you jump, that gives the other team a big opportunity to steal the ball from you. There's only so many places you can go once you jump. Kubik's into Monaco. Big pass to Vonsky, but he gets stolen. Swamp, we're seeing a little bit of cracks in the defense here. Not quite yet. Oh, boy. Big grab from No Roblo. 
Honestly, it's like he it's like he alt tabs every time that he grabs the ball. I mean, I understand wanting to stall, but it's a little bit uh it's a little bit obvious. I don't know. Like just standing still with the ball in goal. Uh polar defense. Oh my goodness. What a shot. I was I was about to say they were getting slowed up by some bad passes, but still managing to, to make that low corner shot. And we're back tied up 2-2. Two, two. One minute of extra time, so Swamp has a, about a minute to get something done here. They should really be taking their time and try not to give Polar the opportunity to end the half up. And that's exactly what I'm saying. Only ten, only ten seconds taken off the clock. So they've Polar now has the minute opportunity to make something happen, and everyone is just making a little bit of poor dribbles. Oh goodness gracious! Very dangerous to go for that uh, that jump dribble from out of bounds. But the double team, very strong. But Vosky gets the. The snatch back to Ubix. Uh, he should have just... I mean, they just keep passing further away from the goal, and, and Swamp is really not letting any long shot opportunities go, go through. Polar's really got to make use of getting that good passing into the goal, and that's the end of the first half. Uh, what a... What a half... That was absolutely insane. And it looks like we're taking a short half. Swamp and Polar electing to take a short break. Both very tired, very winded. A lot of running around, a lot of hard defense, hard offense. Swamp looking like they had it in the bag, but just two unfortunate goal opportunities going through. Ubix with that one-on-one -on -one opportunity to get past Waldo. He hasn't really let many mistakes go through. He's been a very, very consistent defender. My goodness, and we've got uh, some goal practicing going on and a lot of fireworks going on. So for Swamp, I think I think they need to take a little bit more time and and also take a little more space, like get a, get a bit more space in their offense. They're kind of. They kind of have two players bunched up and then one player going for the pass. But that makes it much easier for uh, the polar defense to bunch up and really cover all those passing lanes. Polar, though, they also, you know, they were finally seeing some success as soon as they started passing to themselves more. You know, their uh, their solo goal opportunities have not really gone that well other than Ubix getting that one-on-one -on -one opportunity, but that was mostly the issue of Swamp just being a bit too high up on their offense. Kingston not having the opportunity or the time to get back I think we've got exclusive info that Jam Jar is using the bathroom. Purely an administrative bathroom break. Very important things going on behind the scenes.
honestly, I'm thinking whoever gets the first goal in this next half will just have so much momentum. But I don't know. The people, they start getting a little more loose in their defense as soon as they get up. And that may be what even exactly led to the polar comeback. Jam currently absolutely squeezing desperately trying to finish his bowel movement. The players are getting restless. Swamp is ready. And it looks like Polar is ready as well. However, Tumble is not ready somehow. We've got both teams ready here, and I'm sure Polar is going to look for a, a fast offensive start off of this uh, little bit of advantage they get from the tip-off. Wonski bringing the ball in. Cutting hard to the basket. Or the net, rather. It, it's kind of like a basket. It's like a sideways basket. And no Roblo is just... It's 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 egregious at this point. He just completely stops as soon as he gets the ball in his hands. Okay, maybe he's turning up his draw distance every time he gets the the ball, which I I guess He's just trying to maximize that performance. Oh, big dribbles in from Vonsky, but he doesn't get it to his teammates. Monaco and Ubix, they were both ready. I may be lagging. Yeah, I, I, oh, I'm back. A little bit of interference. Uh, my internet, the cables have been cut outside, but we had our um, our animal friends very quickly weld them back together. Sono with the corner kick. Swamp, they're looking for a good opportunity here. They're, they're seeming to mostly rely on Sono and Ucrease to get it done, and it did work in the beginning half, but I'm not sure how many more of those long shots Muna are going to let in. Yeah. Razor to Ubix, Monaco, and that won't be one opportunity! Even Wonski gets it! And that's exactly what Polar should be looking for. That great passing. When you get those perfect passes... It just is so hard for the enemy team uh, to react to it. I believe Sono is wearing a, a banned hat, but I don't know if it's still banned. I remember a, a very large controversy about the frog hats. So Sono has freed the frog at this moment. Not, doesn't really seem to be helping much. Polar getting a lot done on the offensive side. Monsky into Ubix, into Monaco. Oh my goodness. And Monaco definitely could have had that. No Roblo taking his moment. Big pass up. Sono looks like he can get this. Oh, just a little bit too far back. Uh, 
Now Swamp, they really, they really need to take uh, advantage of Kingston, I think, at this point. They're just trying to get through with Sono and, and Ucrease, but it's just not really it's not really getting the job done currently. To you, this this polar offense, they have Fonsky, Monaco, and Ubix putting a lot of pressure on the, the defensive side. And that's what they're getting. They're getting so many opportunities. And honestly, I think this this maybe not stalling tactic, but this uh this long goal kicks are really to the detriment of Swamp. Polar keeps getting such opportunities because the Swamp defense is on the back foot on the fast break. And Muna not hesitating to get the ball upfield. And when you're scrambling on defense and you're not set up, it it is so hard and it's easy to get confused. See, like right here. Oh, trying not to waste any time. Monaco, the dribbling skills. Has good awareness when he gets stolen. Keeps it out of bounds. Keeps it in play for Polar. Oh, and passes it just easy to Kingston. Kingston on a four-on-one opportunity here. Oh, but Ubix, the big head, the beanie. Sona once again with the jump offense. It looks like they're taking advantage of Kingston here. Trying to give Sono a little bit more space to operate, but he is just getting smothered on the defensive side. Big ups into Kingston. It goes through. Oh, he tries to hit it to you, Kreese, but I think he passed a little bit too far right. Oh, big opportunity. Sono and Yui just absolutely attacking the ball. Sono going for dangerous pass with, with three blue jerseys in that direction. It's just so, it's just not very often that uh, a pass where it's only one of your teammates and three of the opposing team is really going to go through. We got Fonsky. We got Razor. Razor with the opportunity. Trying to get another Razor goal. Polar. They're really feeling it. Yubix with another fast break opportunity. He's dribbling in. He's looking for Fonsky. Fonsky not cutting hard to the basket. Oh, that's actually a good pass. Covered up by two Swampers, though. Big steal. And that is off of Ubix's head. And again, the polar polar defense, just that few seconds it took for uh, T-Bone to get the ball out, it gave them so much time to get ready. And Ubix, he gets the ball, though. That's the thing. No no Vonsky. Ubix not really in the defensive play there, just giving Ubix plenty of space to operate. And we're back tied once again. This is a very dangerous opportunity, though. Even a two-on-three, Vonsky and Ubix, I, I'd say they have a good chance. Big header pass. But Ubix not picking up the ball, but Sono missing the jump shot. Oh, kind of a heat check there, or a cold check, should I say, from Polar. Vonsky just wanted to take that opportunity as he got it. And and I honestly think that's that's pretty fine. With with this little amount of time remaining, you gotta you gotta take the opportunities when they come to you. You don't really wanna set up and, and do those long um those long half court offenses. Pass right over the head of Vonsky. Oh and he just dunks you crease into the grass. The first yellow card of the game, I believe, should be being doled out to Vonsky. And he has received it. Sono, big pass in, but Razor's there. Ubix trying to take his time. 
but time is not something that these teams really have much to make use of. Ubix with the... Oh my god, big pass into Vonsky, but Vonsky didn't commit with that. Was not cutting to the net in motion with that pass. Big pass into Ubix, though! Oh my goodness gracious. That is a goal for Polar. And that's the thing. They just they don't give up on the offense. And a very unfortunate Swamp giving up the ball immediately. And we've got Ubix. Every time he's up, you, you're, you're definitely going to see those toxic emotes coming out. Sona looking for the dribble move. He fakes left, he fakes right. He fakes left, he fakes right. Passes it back out to Waldo, and they've got the four-pronged offense going here. But, oh, very unfortunate. Honestly, that, that's probably a good idea uh, from Swamp here to go for the, the offensive defense position where you, uh, you have the defense running at the point. Gives you a lot more opportunities to keep the uh, the possession going. Ubix not not really sure what he was looking for there. T Bone really taking his time and he faked us all out. I'm sure we were all looking out deep. And Sona looks like he's open, but Vonsky is also there. Dangerous pass. Oh, and it just goes right over the head of Sono. And we've got another one on one situation. Gets over, and he gets another shot. Wow. Ubix is taking over right now. And Dr. Kong uh, watching respectfully from the bench. Waiting to get his playtime. But I don't think we're going to see it today. This has really been a battle of the starters. Polar has really been giving it to Swamp in the second half though I don't know if we're going to see airflow for Polar's side either it is still a very close game I wouldn't put it past uh, Swamp to bring it back still they have to make use of all the time they're going to get on the possession and Polar's really taking their time here at this point, when you're up, this is when you really want to take those these long offensive possessions. And even if you get a fast break, it might be imperative to just sort of let the defense settle. This is so dangerous. I don't like this. T-Bone facing Vonsky, and it's just wasting so much time. They got to get the ball up the field. And what is that pass of, after all that? That's what he gets. Oh, and Ubix just giving them a gimme at this point. Sono's going to be looking for Yui. He's got him. But Monaco with the clutch steal. I almost would have guaranteed that was a goal if Monaco did not get that pass. Uh-oh, one-on-one opportunity for Vonsky. Oh, and he just bounces it off the side. Oh, unfortunate from Bonsky, and it really seems like Ubix has been carrying the load this game. Big shot from Yui! Fakes to the right, gets all the defenders on his right side, and just gets that one dribble jump shot into goal. It's a close game. It really is anyone's game at this point. If Polar gets another goal, though, I would be very scared on the Swamp side, but they don't. Incredibly clutch block there from T-Bone. And Waldo, I would just have him dribble the ball upfield, uh, make one of the Polar defenders uh, break from their man-to-man -man defense. And I don't know why, I don't know why T-Bone or Waldo passed it up there. Stona was wide open on the right side. Oh, that was out. That was definitely out. 
Kingston for just a few frames being faced directly out of bounds and putting the ball out. Now Swamp, they need their opportunities. Polar is just taking their time. And Ubix, he's just being so toxic. He just can't help it. Good snatch from T-Bone. And again, he's just taking his freaking time. He's got to just pass it up, especially right now. Why did he? No. Yui, he would have had that ball. He just crouched and it just went right over his head. And the possession just went right back to Polar. Swamp, they just need to take their time at this point. Only 40 seconds. I'm not I don't think we have any extra time. Big dribbles by Bonsky and he gets stolen. Still polar possession. Ubix says he's just taking his time here. It's so hard unless you're double teaming someone to, to get the ball from him. Oh, big opportunity from Swamp. They're just mashing, desperately trying to get the ball upfield. And no Roblo, he's just got to chuck it up. What is he doing? Uh, what a game. Big ups to Polar there. Just getting the opportunities they really needed in the end. Great game from both sides. Swamp really putting up a valiant effort. All it takes is those one or two opportunities. And as much as I'd like to say that Polar has put themselves out in front, this was such a close game. I don't know if I can really say that Swamp or Polar have an advantage at this point. Definitely got to say that Swamp coming into the uh, the game, they were trying, they really weren't uh, being looked at as a big threat. But I know all the teams now, they're looking at them as a very potent offensive and defensive squad. Polar, I would have been quaking in my boots during that whole game. All right, well, that wraps up the first game of today. Uh, later, we will be seeing Polar once again and a new team coming onto the pitch, Summit, led by Meat Sale, the dangerous offensive legend. And we will see you guys then.